kinetic energy. We've already looked at and used the word kinetic nutrition. The word kinetic means? Has uh, to do with motion. We had kinetic friction, which was uh, moving friction. So kinetic energy is the energy of motion. The symbol we're going to use for kinetic energy is a Ke for kinetic energy. The equation is that the kinetic energy is one half times the mass times the velocity squared. And that is a boxed equation. So kinetic energy, one half mass times velocity squared, where m is the mass of the object, and v is the velocity of the object. So I don't have much to say about kinetic energy because we're not going to do an example problem. It's one half mass times velocity squared. That's pretty clear. Uh, I guess we could do the dimensions. If you could please, uh, Catherine, figure out this we figure out the dimensions for kinetic energy. Um, it's a scalar quantity, so um, it's a joule. <laughs> yeah, so help me figure out the dimensions oh. for kinetic energy. Sorry. Um. We look at the equation. Mass is in. Um, it's usually like kilograms. Kilograms, that would be the base dimension, base SI dimension. True times velocity. Oh, uh, that's meters per second. Meters per second. And that is squared. So it's meters per second, that quantity squared. I'm sorry, you were helping me figure out what this, this is. Yeah, so that would equal kilograms times um, meters per second times meters. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this equals kilograms times meters squared um, over seconds squared, right? Yes. Help her out, Jordan. That equals one joule. How do you know that? I, I agree with this, but I need more. We need to be able to show it. We're very close. Nutrition. Oh, um, Newton is uh, kilogram over, or kilogram times meter over second squared. So that gives you a Newton times meter. Oh, hold up. So rather than having meters squared here, I have meters times meters, and we know a kilogram times a meter per second squared is equal to a Newton. So yes, it works out to be joules. But you need to be able to show that. Look. We have kilograms times meter squared over second squared, which works out to be joules. And again, notice, this is in joules, so is work, and kinetic energy is also a scalar. Important to realize that. Work. We already showed that we can have negative work. Can we have negative kinetic energy? Julie. Why not? Because kinetic means that it's moving, and if it's negative, then it wouldn't be moving, so there wouldn't be. Ah, but you can be moving in a negative direction. So you can have a negative velocity. But it's scalars. But you can, you can have a negative scale, as we talked about, right? You can have a negative one. Well, it's velocity squared, so that's always going to be positive. So regardless of whether you have a negative velocity, the velocity is squared, so that value is going to be positive. Can you have a negative mass class? No. So notice, while you can have negative work, you cannot have negative kinetic energy. 